What happened, Austin? Um, Corey started having a go at me, saying I wasn't answering my phone and I wasn't replying to his text messages. Just stop there. Corey, what was your level of anger at that stage? One being calm, thoughtful, bright. Judge Rinder. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a 10. I'm, I'm never usually angry, but just because it was that specific event and being my ex-girlfriend, I've never been so angry in my life. Like, usually I'm, I'm just a calm, nice person, but because it was that situation. Is he normally a kind, nice person? Yeah. What happened? Um, I, wait, I waited home for him and he was just... This time you were seething? Yes. You hadn't been was... drinking or anything of that no, kind? No, 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 no. Right. I don't drink. Uh, he was purposely ignoring his phone, which would obviously get me well, more Well, he says he wasn't. He was yeah. on the way home. I can understand, um, so can you, why you, a very serious accusation is made. Yeah. You think perhaps the best way of dealing with it is speaking to the person face yeah. to face. With hindsight, might it have been better to send a message, say, I'll talk to you when I get home? Yeah. Actually, that may have led to more suspicion, I suppose. But carry on. And uh, he came home and the first thing I did was stood at the bottom of the stairs and I started shouting at me. He was just oh, denying it all. And the fact he was denying it, it was more, me more angry. So I was looking around, the first thing I threw I saw was his iPod. So I just threw his, launched his iPod at him and he dodged away and he went and got uh, smashed against the wall. I think you've got the broken iPod here, is that right? Yes. Oh, let's have a look. Thank you, Michelle. You got home. Yeah. You were full of rage. Yes. Now, he came in, and as far as I can gather, you were ready to talk to Corey, right? Um, before he threw it, yes. What were you saying to him? Um, I denied sleeping with his ex-girlfriend. Um, and you weren't in a mood to hear anything. As far as no. you were concerned, it was true. Yes. As far as you were concerned, you'd been judge and jury and Austin was guilty. Yes, because I just thought it's not going to come from no one. No one's going to make it up. But... No, nobody would make vicious rumours up just for fun, would they? Ever been on Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> now, here's the thing. This is what you picked up and you threw it. Did you throw it at Austin? Yes. How far from your head was it? Literally about... That close. Now, we're here today dealing with a fairly minor civil suit. Yeah. For a fairly trivial amount of money. Here's the thing, Corey. I used to deal with very serious cases where an inch to the right, that was something which hit someone's head and they ended up being killed. Do you understand? Yes. There, by the grace of this iPod, you go from Judge Rinder's court, you're lucky to be here, instead yes. of a criminal court. If it had hit his head, if you'd picked up something else, he could have been seriously yeah. injured. Do you understand that? I understand that, yes. You're extremely lucky. Yeah. Like, like you said, it could have been a lot worse. It's, I regret it. What's more, Austin could have telephoned the police and accused you of criminal damage, and you'd have a caution, almost certainly, if you'd admitted it, which would have been registered against you, which could have affected your employment. Do you understand that as well? Yes, I understand. That's why your temper can't control your actions. Yeah. It's right? the only time I've acted like that. And Pardon? It's the only other time I've ever got that angry, like... And is it going to be the last? Yes. Now, Austin, what sort of scene was this? Was this a frightening scene? It wasn't at first, it was just... Well, when you threw it? When he threw it, yeah. Did you throw anything back? No. When did the argument calm down? What happened after the iPod had been thrown? After the iPod had been thrown, um, we argued for about another five, ten minutes, and then... We calmed down a bit and Corey left the house. Right. Now, Austin, just to clear Corey's mind, not that it's relevant, but it's an important moment because you're in my court and people in my court tell the truth because they know what happens when they don't tell the truth. Do you know what happens when they don't tell the truth? They get in trouble. They <laughs> do. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you, just for the record and for my and Corey's peace of mind, did you have a relationship with his girlfriend? No. Not ever? Never. Do you currently have a girlfriend? No. It's like Corey's one of my closest friends and I wouldn't do anything against him like that. For more Judge Rinder cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.